If you're into 3D printing, understanding G-code can be very helpful. In fact, I use a custom G-code file from my e-leveler tool to position the nozzle at each corner and lift the nozzle up so I can adjust. But I use a delay command to delay 20 seconds at each corner because some machines don't recognize the pause command, but many do. So I'm gonna show you how to modify the G-code file to make the M0 pause command work so now, instead of 20 second delay, you tell it when you wanna to move to the next corner. And in the process, you'll learn some G-code. So let's get started right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCB Prototype the easy way with a full-featured custom printed circuit board prototype service from PCBWay. If you're not familiar with my Filament Friday e-leveler tool, it's really just a tool to make it easier to level the bed. You adjust it until the LED just comes on at each corner and it gets you a lot closer to a perfectly level bed. Now it works from a custom G-code file that you download from our website and install in the SD card and then run it just like a regular print. And there's three different sizes, one for a smaller printer, medium sized printer, and then a larger printer. Here's the G-code file for a small size printer like the Ender 2 Pro we're gonna use here. The first command is a G28, which homes the X, Y, and Z axis to the zero position. Next is a G1 command, and then a Z8, which means lift the Z axis eight millimeters so we can move it without hitting anything. Next, we use the G1 command to position right above the first adjuster at X30 and Y30, and we set the speed using the F3000, or 3000 millimeters per minute. So if you want to speed it up, you just change this number to a larger number. Now we use the G1 command again, only this time we set the Z to 5.8 millimeters, which is the thickness of the switch and the board, so we're at the perfect offset. Next is the G4 delay command with the P15000. That gives us about a 20 second delay at each corner. If you want that to be faster, then reduce the 15,000. If you want it to be longer, then make the 15,000 bigger. Other than the home command, all these are repeated for each corner of the bed. Now to run it, it's just like any print file. You just go to print from card, select the file, this is the 22nd one, click print, and then it'll run. First it'll home itself, and then it'll move to that first corner. And that first corner is right above the adjuster. And then you can slide the e-leveler underneath it and adjust it until the LED just comes on to give you that perfect height. But now you gotta wait. You gotta wait until the 20 seconds runs out. And then you slide in the adjuster and do the next one. Now, 20 seconds works out to a pretty good average, but some people want it faster, some people want it slower. So understanding the G-code makes this real easy to modify, and all you need is a text editor to do it, which could be Notepad or Text Edit on the Mac. So it's real easy to do, and then just save it as a G-code file, not as a .txt, an actual G-code file, and then you can run it the way you want. Now, in the Marlin firmware that runs most of our printers, there's an M0 unconditional stop command, which allows you to pause the printer and it'll wait for you to click the knob on the LCD. Unfortunately, many low cost machines don't recognize the M0 command in their firmware, so it doesn't work. That's why we chose to use the 20 second delay because it works on just about any machine. But fortunately, the Ender 2 Pro actually recognizes the M0 command, so let's test this out. Now all you have to do is add an M0 for the pause. But now a semicolon actually disables it or hides it from the program. So if we put a semicolon in front of the G4, that'll hide that command, remove it from the M0, and now the M0 becomes the pause. So I'll semicolon in front of the G4s throughout the program and add the M0s without a semicolon, and now the M0 command will pause the printer. So let's try it out. So I'll print from card, and we'll use the M0 version instead of the 22nd version, and click print and it moves to the corner, just like before, but now it's gonna sit there and wait for me to click to resume. So I'll click the button, and now it'll move to the next spot. I adjust it there. After that's adjusted, then I go back to the screen. Now it shows the X and Y position, and then you click resume, so you know where it's gonna go or where it is. So then I adjust that corner until the light just comes on, and I go back to the screen and adjust it again to the next position. So click the resume. Now it's in the upper front corner. And now we're all set, I click it again, and it returns home. 
The Ender 2 Pro does recognize the M0 command, some Ender 3s do not. So if you have one of these E-Leveler tools, now you know how the G-code works and how you can modify it. And speaking of this module, I actually use PCBWay for the circuit board. PCBWay.com is a great place to get low-cost circuit boards, but you can also get assembly services. You can supply them the parts or give them a bill of material with the parts list. They will track down the parts, solder things together, review it with you during the process, and at the end ship you completely assembled boards. So if you're looking for a manufacturing partner for your electronics designs, check out PCBWay.com. Now the next step is to go into your start and NG code within the slicer and learn how those work. I'll cover that in a future video. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.